Talk to me, brother. Or don't. He doesn't see me. Well, you know what this means. <laughs> hey, Asher. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, so satisfying. As much as I would like to sell these cartons of cigarettes, um, they are weighing me down because I just picked up Asher's power armor and it uses a lot of weight. So that means I will have to find a player home slash place to camp out as soon as I leave. But this, uh, this sharpshooter over here, that one, is gonna have to go. Bunch of pass cards on these trogs. Wow. <laughs> I don't even need to use vats with this gun. I'm, I'm gonna have to get into that habit. Because it's, it's awesome. It is so good. So I'm wondering how I should go about this. Um, should I take the uptown path, or should I go through the, uh, or should I go through the warehouse, or the, the, sorry, the steel mill, to get where I need to go? I'm not quite sure. I am going to use a stealth boy, and some Yao Guai meat, just to add to the vagrant stealthy type character effect, because I know for a fact there is, there is more enemies about. And the, the trogs uh, spawn according to, I think according to where you are uh, in Uptown. Yeah, so the lights lights are getting killed as you're uh, as you're traversing, just to just to give the effect. Um, but those trogs, not sure where they're going. I kind of want to set some mines up here, kind of. But nobody's been alerted yet. We could pick the, both of these ladies off. Nope. I was hoping to. What? Really? <laughs> I didn't know that was a choice of last words for these guys. If you didn't catch that, she, as she died, she was like, really? Yes, really. For real. Ooh, more frag grenades? This is shaping up to be a good raid on the raiders. Oh. Yeah, the trogs are coming up. Let's hope they investigate. Yep, there we go. There we go. Another stealth boy. Otherwise, I just won't use them. <laughs> but this trogs. No. Oh. Nope. Okay, that's one. These are just standard trogs. I'm not seeing many trog brutes, and that's a good thing. That helps me greatly. Might as well take this ammunition, since nobody's going to need it besides me. I'm kind of wondering where the uh, the escaped slaves are. I'm, I'm looking for a riot, and it <laughs> doesn't look like it's happened much yet. Unless, you know, unless the, the, the slaves lost, which would kind of suck. But, I mean, it kind of sucks for either side depending on what you choose. As you'll... As I'm sure you'll find out once, uh... Werner approaches us. Come on up. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Bad trogs. Bad trogs stay down. Down below. You know, if it wasn't for me, 
I would wonder if, if this would uh, highly affect the slaves as well, because nothing's really stopping the trogs from, you know, breaking into the to, to the, downtown. Um, say there. Oh, here's the <laughs> more uh, nice pieces uh, via raiders. Great stuff. So let's see what's happening over here in downtown. Not too many. Oh, here's here's some. Okay, now the slaves are fighting back. About time. Oh, there's one. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, he's scared. He's running scared. Go get him. They saw me, but they they just kept running. Ooh, this guy's got to go. His name's Bingo. One more shot. Okay, a couple more shots. He's dead. Oh, there's oh. another. He's got a sniper rifle. That kind of hurt. And another stealth boy and some food just because I can. I had like a stockpile of six stealth boys. Just then. <laughs> Ooh, gnarly. So we're we're done here? Is that is that it? We're done? Oh, here comes Werner. Nice work, pal. When I saw those lights go down, I swear I heard the trogs laughing. I think I speak for all of the ex-slaves here when I say good riddance to those bastards. May they rot in a glowing grave. I'm gonna stick in character. I expect my reward, Werner. Keep your shirt on, I'm getting to that. And I promise you're getting plenty. We cut a few corners on researching the brat, so we've already got something good to keep down the rads. It's on the house. But the real wealth of the city is in that steel mill. You'll have access to the ammo press in there, so go nuts. You earned it, kid. So I freed the slaves. Why isn't everyone, you know, enjoying their victory? It's not that easy. This is still our home, and there's still lots of work to be done. Killing Asher is just the first step. But don't you worry about it all. I'll be here to take care of getting the city back into shape. You just bask in the glory, huh? And the third and final perk from the pit. Medical research from the pit has improved your life. Just try not to think of what it may have cost others. <laughs> Morally gray, as I was stating a couple of times before. And that, that does it for the pit. We're done here. Don't forget to spread the word about the pit. Seriously, we could use more people. What? Wait, what? She just spontaneously die? I'm not sure exactly when. Oh, that's next week. I don't know. That's a weird position. Friday. Who's Friday? Oh, whatever. I'll just take these things and go. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Serious inventory management needed. Oh, boy. Okay, now that that's in order, I, I dropped an infiltrator rifle because apparently I can't use that to repair the perforator, which is odd. But whatever, I got some standard and Chinese assault rifles to do it instead. And this is this is where Asher stood when he was giving his little speech. Um, but yeah, uh, if you if you go into this area, like you side with Asher and everything, like you get access to the vendor here and stuff like that. Um, not that I'm wanting to you know influence your choice, because uh, you know the reward is the same. It's just it's just basically a moral choice. Um, and not necessarily the best one either way. So, like, Asher is dead. Here's here's the breakdown. Yeah, Asher is dead. Nothing really changes. That's, that's what happened. They're still trying to rebuild. The only thing that really changed is the baby is now, uh, or sorry, the cure is now adopted uh, by Medea and, uh, and Werner instead of... Uh, her, her blood family, Asher, and 
Oh, what's her name? <laughs> I love these characters so much. <laughs> so one of the major rewards for finishing the pit is getting access to the ammo press, which is right over here. And uh, I'm going to press out some ammo really quick. Uh, basically, you just convert different ammo types to others that you actually use. It's really neat. For example... I'm going to convert some 32 and 5 millimeter rounds into 5.56. And it will give me over 400 rounds. So let's press that out. And after that, I grab all my 5.56 rounds and I'm good for a while. I have over 700 now. <laughs> Always nice to have a massive stockpile of ammunition, I think. Um, so, I'm thinking about just going out the front door. Um, I don't know, did any of you see mechs? <laughs> I owe that man a shotgun to the face. And I believe he might still be alive, since there was a couple stragglers, uh, slaver masters in here. Uh-huh. Hello, mechs. You're done. <laughs> Ow. Hey, Werner, how about a little help? No? Not at all? Werner, what are you... What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. And frankly, I don't care, because uh, I'm done with the pit. Got everything that we came for. I'm going to uh, look really quick after I loot this guy, too. Uh, uh, one more try. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look really quick and see what, uh, what perks we got for the pit. So the three perks all together give a nice combination of... Uh, Radiation resistance by 13% total, uh, damage resistance by 3%, auto axe damage by 25%, and that's it. Yeah, so there's there's several nice goodies you can get here, but let's get a final look, a final look at the pit, and then we'll head out. Uh, I'm gonna miss this bridge. I remember so many episodes ago. I don't know, it was like four. Three, five, I ooh, there's some mines I missed. Yes, I'll take those. Did I miss any others? Yes. So I'm going to fast forward a bit. I have something fun I really enjoy doing after finishing the pit. So be back in a sec. Alright, and we're back. I didn't have quite as many mines as I would have liked, but I hope that this turns out nice. I had mentioned no such thing as too many explosions. You remember that? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It didn't reach all the way back, but it was worth it. I think it was worth it. And so, our journey has ended in the pit. We go back to the capital waste to see what awaits. Ah, we are back now in the capital wastes uh, to see if we can find a place to stash the goodies that were retrieved from there. Because I can't really do much else uh, until I drop some stuff. So, we're gonna go a little ways south, see if there's a spot that I can claim as my own. Nobody sees me just yet. That car explodes! More explosions? Yes. Always. Always more explosions. One of these times I might do a time lapse of it, just, just for 
old times sake <laughs> one of my couple of my first videos were uh, time lapses of fallout -y explosions um, they were a lot of fun uh, one of them was the um, the mobile base type thing those are outcasts hey guys what are you doing how's it going over here is there a threat allow me to assist I have all these lovely gadgets and gizmos and things that shoot ballistic projectiles. Back off, oh, you already took care of them. It was just a protectron. All right. Ah, Fort Constantine. I think so. This is where you get the T-51B power armor, as long as you have the keys, which I do not. But, ooh. Oh! Robo brain bad. Don't like that. That's enough of that. Can I set off the truck? Yes. That assisted a little bit. And that thing could take a lot of hits. But then again, so can I. I did use a few stim packs. <laughs> Whereas the Robo Brain, as I call them, brain bots, did not. Yep, Fort Constantine. There is something up there, too. Oh, uh, yeah. But, even though we can't go directly into uh, the chamber with the armor, not, not that I would want to immediately anyway. Um, there is a bobblehead in here, not one that I'm actively looking for, but I do know of its existence. Haha! -ha! Got the jump on that robot. Pre-war book, very nice. Use those for some caps later. Alright, anyway, I don't think there's any other enemies in this very spot. But there is a fair bit of loot, including a quantum, yet another quantum. A lunchbox. And I think, uh, yep, cherry bombs. Oops, didn't want the chessboard. But the cherry bombs, yes, very much so. Guns and bullets, another pre-war book. I really do have to find a spot to drop my stuff. I will find it soon, I'm sure of it. Okay, so here, oh yeah. Another skill book, and a stealth boy, and the big guns bobblehead. Didn't necessarily need it, unless I was Annihilator. Launch codes. Um, <laughs> this, uh, this base also has warheads. Um, not something I would fire off yet. I was about to say willingly, but, you know, if there's a red, bu red button, I'm going to press it. That's just, that's just how it happens. That's, I think that's how most of us are. If, if there's a red button, especially when it says do not press, oh, it's going to get pressed. There is no question. So this, this is not, this is not a, not a substantial base. Um, I'm going to go over to that radio tower over there. And um, I didn't forget about the SATCOM array. We're still going to go there but I really want to find a spot to drop some stuff. Yeah.